What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another Football Manager video. Today guys, we should be winning the title. Before we get into the final three games of the season, uh, we're going to give you another recap of what's happened. Um, obviously, I, I want to get as far as I can in this FM save, so I don't want to just play it on stream or just play it uh, for video so I have been playing a lot of it off stream and off video as well and of course with that a few small people and it is a very few small people um, accused of reloading the game that's something I've never really done in football manager maybe maybe back when I was like playing championship manager as a as a as a, you know as a teenager and just couldn't take losing those tough games but these days you know <laughs> reloading football manager is just not for me um there's no proof that I did or didn't, but as you guys will see from the uh, fixtures here and, and from the results, we're in a great spot. We're six points clear with three games left, but we have got Dover next. It is a massive game. If we even draw the game, we'll win the title. There's no way in the last two games we'll lose by enough and they'll win by enough to get the goal difference closed down. Uh, of course, if we win the game, we'll win the title there and then. But if we lose the game with two games to go, we'll be only three points clear. And that could throw uh, a spanner in the works. Um, after 36 games with 10 games left, I was 12 points clear. Now, if I was a save and reloader, you wouldn't see this kind of form in the back end of the season. All of these games from, I think, pretty much dorking onwards were all played just in my own time. And the reason why, as I say, I'm playing a lot more in my own time is I really, really, really want to get this club up to the Premier League. I want to start uh, getting into European football, start improving the club, the facilities and such. And uh, as I say, just playing for like two or three hours a night on stream, four or five nights nights a week is not enough time to do that. Um, so in terms of the results, guys, we beat Slough 2-1, Pollock and Parker with the goals. Gosport 1-0 with Whitaker with the goal. Jacobson got sent off in that game as well, 35th minute. So to come away with that win, obviously Gosport low in the table was nice. Uh, we beat Dorking 2-0, O'Neill and Falston with the goals. We drew 0-0 with Welling, Jacobson missing a penalty in that game. We then beat Weymouth 1-0. Falston with a goal. And you'll notice here, Whitaker is not getting the goals. Uh, Concord, we again drew 0-0 with. And then we lost 2-1 to Oxford City. Whitaker did finally score. We then again drew 0-0, our third 0-0 draw in five games. Again, not managing to pick up the goals. It was a really, really tough game right there against Maidstone. We beat Salisbury 4-2. Uh, some goals coming from all over the park. And then Havant and Waterlooville, we beat 3-1. Whitaker did finally get on the score sheet properly there with three goals. Uh, we lost 3-1 to Dartford, uh, Whitaker again scoring, and beat Hemel Hempstead only 1-0. And again, Jacobson missing a penalty. Matthews with the goal, a very narrow win. So we have got Dover, Tombridge, and Chelmsford in our final three games. As I say, we could win the game. We could win a title against Dover. Tombridge in 12th, going to be a, a fairly difficult game, especially if the nerves are in for the boys. And then um, we've after that, we've got Chelmsford, who are right at the bottom of the table, still not quite safe. Uh, so hopefully, you know, we should be able to pick up the points that we need to win the title against those teams anyway. And I was really, really sad, actually, that Whitaker has kind of fallen off the mark in the back end of the season um, just because I wanted him to break the record in this division for most goals in a season, which is currently 44. He's on 38 after 41 games. And it's a bad run of, run of form that's kind of like let him down. You know, that hat-trick obviously brought him back up. Can he score six goals in three games? He absolutely can. Has he done it before? He absolutely has. But when we look at his form right now, no goal, four in the last three before that, no goal, and then one. And then look at that, one, two, three, four. Four games in a row without scoring, one goal and nothing against Slough. So he's really struggled since since this run of form here. He's really struggled to get uh, in amongst the goals, which is not good news. Um, our team is... Fit and healthy. We've got everyone available. Uh, the, the team in general is absolutely like fantastic. You know, every player is in the right position. They're playing the best they can. Luke Hurst unhappy, which is sad. I get it, right? He hasn't really played much this season. And, and after being such a, a talisman for the club for the first two years at the club, he's kind of just fallen off the mark. He's not good enough for us. If we get promoted, which I really hope we will just today, um, if we get promoted, he should be, uh, you know, he he will just fall by the wayside. He just won't be good enough. So other than Samba on a little bit of low match fitness, which we've got some good uh, subs for, we picked up this Kieran Evans card. Uh, really, really good stats for technical. Some nice stats for physical. Not the greatest for pace and stamina. And then some really good stats as well. In mental, we signed him on a free transfer at £250 per week, which is uh, really, really nice. Um, and then, yeah, just in general, the team is 
what I want. We're sadly going to be losing Grashek. He's uh, transferred to Widzu Lodz. We obviously already saw that. Um, so not a lot else to talk about in terms of the catch-up. You know, we've just played through the season. We've got Dover in one day's time. We've got three games left. This is this is honestly the biggest game in the club's history. We win or draw and the title is ours. We lose and with only three, you know, three, three points uh, ahead of Dover with just two games to go, it is going to be tough. Now, what are Dover's uh, final fixtures? So in terms of the games against Dover, we have drew one and lost two to them. We are favourites going into the game. Uh, but it's definitely not going to be uh, easy. And then their schedule, they've got Havana, Waterlooville and Slough. And so they are playing... Uh, where is Slough? Slough are ninth, and Havana, Waterlooville are 16th. So, like me, they've got one semi-tough game and one semi-easy game afterwards. Do I expect them to get nine po well, six points out of six for the last two games? Yes. So, again, it puts just uh, an immense pressure on and to the point where nothing... But a draw will do here today. We've got the best team for it. We've got the best tactics for it. My, like the team are working well together. The centre backs are working well together. The, all of the midfielders connect well together. Um, the wingers connect well to the full backs. Um, and so we're in a position where this could be the title, guys. This could be it. And uh, it, it would be nice to get promoted. You know, as I say, like being, and, and again, it is a massively small amount of people, but being accused of. Uh, you know, save and reloading. Like this is my third season in the league. If we were, if I was a save and reloader, you guys would never have seen the video where we didn't win the playoff game, and I would have kept reloading until we did win the playoff game. And Whitaker has scored, and that puts him to thirty nine. So he's five away from breaking or equaling the record of forty four, and six away from breaking it, and a good time to score as well, very early on. Uh, but yeah, if I was a save reloader, guys, we would have been doing. We would have had this title sewn up five games ago. You know, we we would have even not even been in this league these days. We would have already been in a in a better league. It's not what I'm about. I, I like to do it all uh, authentically. I, I like to make sure that go on, Whitaker, score again. Oh my God, he's hit a post from about forty yards. Oh, that would have been amazing. Um, yeah, I, I like to I like it to just be real, you know. And if if that means that we struggle or we get fired or anything of the likes, then so be it. Um, but uh, we're doing good here. We're one nil up, which wins us the title, and it will be great to win the title this uh, this game right here. And of course, we have the luxury of being able to concede one goal and still win a title. Jacobson puts that one in. It's going to fall to Falston, who's been scoring some good goals from the the crosses, and it's uh, it's going to be a counter attack here as well. It's Rig, and we get our first ever win against uh, against Dover. Rig puts that wide on a stroke of half time. Maybe it's time to. I don't want to say that. It's time to like start slowing the game down, but um, it's definitely time to start thinking about slowing the game down. You know, 50th, 60th minutes, if we're still only one nil up, and and like I've, this whole season, I've never held good possession. You know, it's the way we're playing football. We're playing counter-attacking football on purpose because of the pace and the physicals that we've got. That's a great save from Grashek, and this should be a counter for us actually. The fact that he just came and claimed that so easy, it's going to be such a loss losing him. He's been such a monster goalkeeper for us. And there is Whitaker, and it finds the falls to Booty. Here's Asante. Asante makes it two, and that is going to be the title in the bag. There's no way, absolutely no way, we're going to throw this one away now. So not only is this the first time we're ever going to beat Dover, let's go to Cautious. It is the uh, it is the first trophy that we're going to be putting into the into the club, guys. So let's make some subs. Let's get uh, Kieran Evans on for Samba because of that match sharpness. Of course, Samba will be leaving now. Let's get Pollock on. A big fan of Pollock. He's got a big future at the club over the next like two or three years. I think he's going to be very, very, very influential. I would just like it if we could get one more goal on Whitaker. That would be nice. Just to just to give myself a chance of seeing him break the record for goal scored. Um, you know, it would might be a good a good uh, idea to to throw the games, finish in the playoffs, and give him a few extra games to be able to get that uh, that chance. Uh, I'm sure, I don't know what the circumstances were with the person that scored 44 goals if he played more games than uh, just 46 or what. I don't know what the situation was, but, you know, we've done great with Whitaker this season. I knew he was going to be big for us. I think next season, definitely a change of tactics and uh, Nolan there um, scores a goal. So I want to be uh, much lower and high high time wasting for the last uh, 10 minutes. Um, yeah, I think, um, you know, we've got a... Uh, We've got a good set of players here. Let me bring on, bring on Michael Parker. Or let's put uh, let's bring 
Yeah, just bring false enough. I just want to waste some time with a, with a sub, really. Uh, five minutes to go. Um, but yeah, Whitaker, you know, has done absolutely brilliant for us this season and hopefully can carry on that form into next season. Is this going to be 2-2? No, Matthews clears it. Here is Pollock. Pollock can break away. Whitaker is... Oh, he's absolutely... That should be a red card, but Pollock puts it wide to the goal. He's fouled him off the ball when he's clean through. How is that not a red? Either way, even if there's another highlight, even if Dover equalise here, that is it. We are title winners. And look at that, guys. They're on the, uh, on the field there celebrating... I think that's a trophy far too big for the uh, Vanarama National South. But also look at the confetti, how it's perfectly halfway across the field. Um, full time, 2-1. So yeah, our first ever win against Dover. Our first ever trophy in the club. Uh, James Matthews made his 75th career league appearance and his 75th uh, appearance for us. That's that's quite a career for him, isn't it? Where do we get him from? Watford. That's really that's quite something, that is. And uh, Peplo made his 50th career appearance. So some good uh, milestones. And you can't be anything other than absolutely delighted with that. The title is in the bag. Yes, we're losing Grashek. And that is super sad because he's been brilliant for us this season. A couple of uh, achievements there as well. We're now nine points clear of two games to go. We can't possibly lose the title from here. Um, and that is, that is just genuinely brilliant. So nine games until we play Tombridge. The only thing that we've got to... Um, the boards have set the initial wage budget for the coming season at 9000 per week. Transfer budget at zero. Well, there you go. So we've got a bit more wage budget to work with next season, which should be really, really good for us. Uh, Monster praise by Team Sweat supporters. That's very nice. Um, Team Sweat board happy with the Vanarama South. So obviously I should I should be at like a, an A+. Plus. Look at that. Three years ahead of schedule for win the promotion to the Vanarama National. I just hope that all they expect from me next season is not to get relegated again. That's, that's all I hope for. Uh, Asante, um, Asante doing well uh, to get us some some good uh, a good win there. Like I say, now we've got nine games to go, or nine nine days until the next game. Whitaker, forty eight goals this season in fifty two appearances is phenomenal. I knew he was going to be good, and I'm sure we can find more players like him. Um, so what I was talking about in the game though is I am tempted to change tactics now. I really feel like. Our midfield, our wide midfielders and attackers, we have got in abundance. I need to play with a formation that has two strikers, um, not necessarily that has wingers, uh, but midfielders. But I I've been watching like a lot of other uh, content creators and and what they're doing and such. And I think the five-three-two is a really popular formation. So I don't mind playing the five-three-two with using the left wing back and right wing back with some of the attacking midfielders that I've got. So we've got a new youth intake. I mean, he's not very good at all, is he? got 16 determination um his physicals are just terrible we get easy there he's not very good greenwood he's not very good well i think it's going to be a season where our youth candidates are absolutely less than special and that's quite sad because it would have been nice um would have been nice to have uh, managed to pick those at least one guy up would have been nice but eight days until the next game guys i will see you there all right, guys, here we go into the next game against the Tonbridge Angels. I think last time out, we beat them quite comfortably. 3-1, uh, if I remember correctly. I might not remember correctly. We'll see here on the uh, on the screen, on the, the screen that shows you the past results, how well we played. Um, FA Cup semi-final, uh, Chelsea going through there. Dulwich Hamlet being, being Dorking. It'll be interesting as well to see if Dover would have won or lost the games and, and how close the title would have been if we had have lost or draw that game. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. So the penultimate game and what we'll do for the rest of today's video is just play out these last two games and then end it there. And then in the off season, um, there's a lot of like, a lot of like finicky things to do. We've got to decide what players we want to try and keep for next season, what players we're happy to let go. Obviously we've got an, um, we've got a, a wage budget uh, that's been almost doubled for next season, which really should allow us to bring in a lot of quality, quality players. Might be a bit of a shaky start to the season um, because we're going to have so many new faces. They're not going to have much uh, use of playing together. Um, but it shouldn't hopefully take... Oh, there's Whitaker with another goal. That puts him on 49 for the season. He's bound to hit 50 for this campaign, which is going to be massive. It's going to be very hard to beat in any, any of the near future from anyone in this club. Uh, but that puts him now to 40 in the league. If he can score a couple more in this game, which... There's no reason why he can't. We have got a chance of equalising 
uh, or sorry, equaling, not equalizing, we won the up, uh, of equaling the record of goals scored. And we are dominating this game as well in terms of chances created. It's only a matter of time before hopefully Whitaker can get another goal. We're also on 97 points. Uh, so we've also got a chance of getting 100 points in the season, which obviously in a 46 game season is uh, not quite as, as good. And the ball's going to fall out to Booty here. Booty loses the ball to McLean. Oh, it gets put back to Whitaker, and there is his 50th goal of the season, guys. An absolutely horrendous back pass to the goalkeeper. Whitaker intercepts it and scores. 50 goals this season now. You can't be mad at that. You absolutely can't be mad at that. Can he get one more? If he gets one more, he'll be only two goals away. He's only three goals away now, but two goals away is definitely manageable in the last game. Tombridge Angels are the, easy, the, the most difficult of the two teams that we've got left as well. So here's hoping that uh, Whitaker can come in and get another another goal. Let's put some fresh wingers on the outside of him as well to see if um, to see if some fresh legs there is going to be helpful in getting him some more chances. And here we go, another highlight: McLean Owens intercepts Folston back to Owens, back to Folston, punts it up the field. Whitaker's going to turn. McLean gets the ball back to the goalkeeper. Is this going to be a chance for them with a long punt down the middle, or is the ball going to fall to Whitaker somehow here? It's going to be a chance for them, and Tate goes through. And that is a brilliant save from Grashek. It's going to be so hard to replace him next season. I wish I could have just signed him for one more year. Just give me a goalkeeper of his calibre one season in the league, you know, in the Vanarama National, just to make sure that we can consolidate our position and not get relegated. Uh, 20 minutes left on the clock in this game. And, uh, well, there you go. Tom Breer, uh, Tom Beer is offside there. Impeded the goalkeeper anyway, I think. One Tom off for another Tom on. Whitaker can get one more chance here. Can he get one more chance? Can he score that hat-trick? Here it is. Burton whips it in. Evans at the back post, off the post, and Evans is going to tuck that one home for 3-0. It's his first goal of the season. It's the new signing. Uh, he hasn't played uh, all too many games for us. I think I just uh, went for... I don't know how to get out the highlights here. So how do you get... There you go, live. There we go. Um, yeah, so Evans, uh, Evans with his first goal. As I say, he hasn't played much. Nine appearances only. He's got good potential, this kid. Good technicals, uh, good uh, good physicals. Uh, he's 23 years old already as well, so he's not going to get like much better. But definitely as a rotation player, um, he can be used very, very well. We've got another highlight here. Three minutes on the clock. Hopefully this is for us. Hopefully this is for Whitaker. There it is. It's going to be for us. Booty. Oh, no. Booty is just completely turned off. And Tate picks up the ball. And that is another phenomenal save from Grashek. You can't really give him too much praise, though, due to the fact that uh, one-on-ones in this game are obviously so very, very broken. Um but we might have a chance here. Whitaker turns it oh, He gets absolutely brought to the ground there. And with just a few minutes left, a 3-0 win. So there was never any doubt anyway about winning the title. And now we are well, well above what anyone could have expected for this season. The ball just wanted me to reach playoffs again. We are 11 points clear of uh, Weldstone and Dover are yet to play. So Dover can get back to a nine-point gap. Um, but overall... Absolutely brilliant. And then when we just look at the club, no, not the club info, we want the player player detailed stats. When we look at the top scorer, you think the top scorer would be, oh, it is the first one, goals. Whitaker is there on 41 goals. The only person close to him is Nash on 25. Who else have we got here? Nobody on even 12 goals, but 41 goals, guys. He's three away from equaling the record. He scored four in a goal before, in a game before. So there is a potential... Um, there is potential for him to break the record. He scored several hat-tricks uh, for us this season. So there's potential for him to equal the record. But either way, we can say with some confidence that he has been brilliant for us. And what, as, as I say, what I'm most impressed about is the fact that we've got him guaranteed for the next year. And because we're getting promoted, it should be a little bit easier to keep him for another year. And hopefully we can bounce straight into League 2 where he'll be just a great player for us. One thing that I really want to focus on in the uh, off-season is getting an attacker, midfielder, and a defender to start coaching the or to start like mentoring the younger players. Because if Whitaker can get a mentor, if he can get that determination up, he can he can be a super super player for us. The board is on an A plus for me as well. The board feel you're doing an unbelievable job. You are clearly putting a smile on the face of every single supporter. Long may it last. Well, for a board that hate me and want me out. They sure are saying some nice things about us now. Look, they've still got some notable criticisms, some draws and some losses to some of the best teams in the league. What can you do? But 
here. The board have done everything. There are two times my job's been on the line. And the one time they gave me 30 days to turn it around. Otherwise, I would have been fired. And it all, it all came down to one game right beforehand. And it was actually the reason why I didn't get fired wasn't even because we won or lost the game. It was because... Um, it was because uh, the team that were in the playoffs had their game postponed because of an FA Cup replay, which meant they didn't play the game because if they and, and that kept us in seventh place. If they didn't have that game postponed and they played that game, they would have ended up moving back up into seventh place. We would have got to eighth place. We would have lost our job. It's crazy how a, a fixture postponement allowed us to keep our job and and hopefully keeps us here. And, and what I'm hoping is. Uh, that when we go through to the like the the next the next seasons, that my job is like far more stable. We're on verge of Vanarama South Player of the Match milestone. Oh wow, he's been Player of Match so far twelve times with a new Vanarama record now well within his sights. All eyes will be on him to chase a place in history. The existing mark is also twelve. Well, so if Whitaker gets Player of the Match, he'll break a record. If he scores a hat trick, he'll equal a record. If he can score four goals, he'll break probably two records because there's no way he won't break the player of the match, the player of the match record if he manages to uh, to bag two goals. And here we go. It's not the most difficult of teams in Chelmsford, but somewhat of a bogey team. We've won three and lost three against Chelmsford, but look at that, their form. They've got three losses out of the last five and the two that they didn't lose were draws. Uh, we've won four out of our last five and, and a really good time to come on strong in the end of the season as well. You know, as I say, if we lost to Dover, who knows what would have happened? It might have been curtains. We might have fallen apart. But it's uh, it's doing all right. So here we go. The final game of the campaign for this season. Um, can the boy, I didn't even give a, uh, give a, a talk. Can the boys do good? Jacobson is going to whip that one in. And there is going to be a goal. It's Falston again. Look at that. Five goals. As I said to you guys a couple of games ago, he scored against Dover. Um, for, for whatever reason, uh, him and Agbon Tahoma just do really, really well from set pieces to score goals. So I don't mind keeping Falston in the team either because he does do really, really good scoring those goals. Um, so there's our first goal. That's not good for uh, Whitaker's records, either of them. But there you go. 1-1. One, one. Uh, Raymer Garrett-Douglas with the goal. That's his fifth goal of the season as well. It would also be nice to finish on 100 points. It's just a really nice tally, isn't it? A really nice total. We have to win to finish on 100 points. I've gone positive. I don't mind going attacking if I need to either. Samba's got the ball down the left-hand side. Cuts that inside. Owens to Booty. Back to Owens. Into Jacobson. Finds Asante. He's got Whitaker in the box. Burton can uh, put the ball into the box. Is Owens out left. We've now got Peplo. Good good signing for this season, Peplo was. Um, Peplo again out to Booty. I've held a lot of possession here. Jacobson out wide to Asante. Asante's got uh, Whitaker in the middle. Oh, it's fallen all the way through to Samba. Twice, three times, four times. He's put it wide. Four shots in the space of about a second. And they all got blocked with the final shot going wide. That is sad. And look at that. It's uh, for, for Chelmsford, just one, well, two shots um, and one goal. Is this going to be their third shot for two goals? Or is this going to be us picking up possession and countering here? Uh, Seaman down the right-hand side with a little burst of pace. Gets into a crossing opportunity, but Asante is going to pull the ball away. Flips that up down the right-hand side. Really, really poor ball. That's where you want Asante to use those physicals to just sprint at the player. Whitaker's going to uh, get the ball here. And Asante can come inside. He's got Whitaker on the inside. Is he going to go himself? He goes himself selfishly. And uh, it remains 1-1. One, one. Um, here's Peplo with the long throw into the box. There is Asante. Hall picks up the loose ball. This might be an attack for them as well. Uh, this might be an attack for them. But sometimes when the goalkeeper gets his, the ball in his hands like that, the punt down the field just seems to go over the defender's heads and it causes all sorts of uh, problems for like a, a long through ball. And this is going to be an attack for them as well. They've worked the ball down the right-hand side. Seaman shoots. It's off the post and then cleared off the line from Matthews, keeping us in this game. And 30 minutes in, no goal for Whitaker yet. He's, uh, he's playing all right, though. He's on a 6.6. .6. This is going to be a chance for them. Reed, oh my God, he's just banged... 25 yarder that's not what you want to see is it that is not what you want to see so it's down to 97 points i've gone attacking I, I want to demand more i want these guys to win this last game of the season no question about it sodi's got a free kick whips out to the far oh it's a penalty isn't it it is a penalty and we've given away far too many of those this season more penalties this season given away than in both the previous seasons combined bremang with the pen 
it's in for Chelmsford and this is an important ga like game for them is it if they go down to 49 no they're they're, they're safe um, but it definitely moves them up the the table a fair bit if they win um, I would just expect a little bit more from uh, from the boys I mean they've had they've had a fair few chances but we had a lot of chances ourselves and the fact that we're not putting those chances away shows that maybe the team that I've got isn't quite the best let's get Samba off um, let's get Pollock on let's get Asante off as well uh, for O'Neill. I like O'Neill a lot as well O'Neill and Pollock O'Neill, Pollock, and Whitaker, I think, are three brilliant players for next season that are going to carry this club very, very far. But currently, obviously, we're uh, we're two goals down with 30 minutes to go. It would need a Whitaker hat trick now to just take care of everything. Give him the player of the month, give him the goals record, get us the 100 points. We need something. With 20 minutes to go, we might be 4 1 down here. It's off the bar, it's off the line. And uh, Chelmsford are playing their hearts out here. Maybe the boys just don't have it in them maybe they've already kind of like given up because they've the season's over for us basically with 15 minutes to go it definitely isn't looking good Burton throws that one in though all the way to their goalkeeper again and again this is just going to be one of those situations where he just punts it down the field goes clean through on goal and they well actually Folsom's going to pick up the loose ball maybe this is going to be our punt down the field can we get Whitaker through on goal here Grashchek has the ball on the edge of the box clears it out white Pollock those fresh legs Let's go. Come on. Pollock drives. Pollock shoots. Ah, we're not getting enough passes into Whitaker. Maybe I need to tell my like wingers to to pass less and uh, sorry, to, to cross less and pass more. Um, but there you go, guys. I think uh, with 10 minutes to go in this game, I don't think there's any real chance of us uh, doing anything particularly incredible. Um, but to get promoted through the season, eight points clear of second place. Welds and Dover have even thrown away second place. That's crazy. And nearly like even third place. Look at that. Boreham Wood. Down in fourth on 88 points. That is absolutely unreal. So not a goal from uh, Whitaker there. Guys, was unable to uh, break the records. And uh, that is that. So the title has been won. Um, give them a... That was, that was not good enough. So Joe Jacobson seems demotivated. He's getting... Uh, he's retiring at the end of the season anyway. But that is going to be... The end of today's video. Next video will be the start of the new season with all the changes that come on in between. Um, lots to do. Lots of uh, contracts to... There you go. Bid, bids farewell. So his final game. He, that's why he wasn't very uh, very interested. Um, but yeah, we'll be back the, with the next season on the next episode. But for now, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.